Hello everybody, it's Lisa here again. Um, so I know I've been missing for a while and I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Facebook and Instagram and I'm so sorry. I'm gonna back, get back to all of your questions but now I'm back to making my videos and sharing my uh, journey in the United States here with you. And um, feel free to ask me lots of questions about the country, about my experience, about what I've learned. In the comments below, I will try to make a video to answer any, every single one of your questions. So today we're going to start off with a video uh, where I'm going to share with you five things that you absolutely need to know when you're considering moving to the United States or even more importantly, if you just moved here and you don't know the system because it's completely different from a lot of countries in Europe or South America. So um, I'm going to share with you five things that you need to know that will help you not only survive in the United States but also to restore, uh, achieve a certain level of success and um, all your dreams and goals that you came here to this country. So keep on watching and you'll find out. Number one thing, you need to perfect your language. You need to learn English if you don't speak English fluently. Like when I moved here, um, I didn't speak English very well. Like I knew some basic words and phrases, but I couldn't communicate fluently with the native speakers. So that was definitely a challenge for me to find a job, to find new friends, to travel and all those things because I couldn't communicate. So this is really important if you want to have a good job or you want to start a business in the future or maybe you want to go to school or whatever this is that you're dreaming about, if you don't speak the language it's going to be difficult to accomplish in the United States because a lot of Americans don't speak other languages. So number one thing, learn the language, they take a lot of time like what I did. I went to a lot of movies with my friends, with Americans, and trust me, I was embarrassed in the beginning because, you know, we were watching the movie and everybody was discussing it afterwards and I couldn't, I didn't understand what the movie was about, so I couldn't say anything, but you need to go through that embarrassment and you need to go through a lot of uh, challenges before you can achieve certain level of mastery. So dedicate time because it's going to be worth it, especially if you're thinking to stay here for a while, so you do need to know the language. Number two. Save your money. Save your money for a rainy day, especially if you just first moved here. If you don't have a lot of savings, things gonna happen to you, and the things that you can't even predict, like you're not expecting them to come, but they're gonna happen to you because this is life. So, you know, a lot of times I had to go to a hospital and I didn't have health insurance. And as you know, in America, it's not free to go see a doctor. Just like a regular checkout can cost you five, six hundred bucks. So make sure you save your money in the beginning so that, you know, uh, if something happens to you that you don't see coming, you are, you know, you're safe. You have something saved up and you don't have to stress about it. Number two, um, save your money so maybe if you're planning to stay here a long time, maybe you can purchase a property in the future because rent in America is way more expensive than owning a house. And then when you sell a house, you know, you, you make a lot of money if you're in an appreciating market. So save money you know whatever your goals are it's gonna help you and maybe you want to go get a real estate license like I did right so you need to have a couple thousand dollars to go to school and get your license and then you need to have savings for the next six months just in case you don't sell a house so whatever this is that you do saving money is definitely gonna help you no Please? matter what you decide to um, do. try to to get as many jobs as you possibly can and I'm saying it's for the people that don't really know where, what they want to do in life and they're just trying to figure it out. So if you just got, got, got here and you don't know exactly what you want to achieve in life and you don't know who you want to be, try to get as many jobs as you possibly can. Like go work at a restaurant, go work in a car dealership, go get a job at, uh, at the bar, like a bartender, you'll make a lot of money. Or maybe you can go try to apply for a real estate assistant or uh, work at a lawyer's office as a, you know, entry level person. Whatever that, uh, you know, whatever that you can get, try to do that and so that that will help you figure out what you want in life and you'll also see how, you know, how people do those jobs here in the United States. And maybe if you're thinking about being a real estate agent and you go work for a real estate person for a while, you're like, you know what, I don't really like it. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe you're gonna like working as a lifeguard, you know, uh, with kids. Or whatever it is that you do so try to get as many jobs as you can if you have figured out what do you want to do in life perfect then you can probably get a job in your sphere somewhere so um, definitely gonna help you because I've tried so many things in my life probably had every single job 
first of all, I didn't speak English, and second of all, I was trying to save money, and third of all, help me figure out um, what I want to do in life. So, go get different jobs and experiment. We only live once, so why not? Number four thing, number four. Um, you have to establish a credit history in the United States. Do you even know what a credit is? A credit score, a credit history, what are the differences? This video is not about it, so I'm not gonna go into the details and explain it to you. Maybe I'll, I can talk about it in another video. But it's important to, for you to have a credit history in a, in a high, you know, pretty good credit score. If you wanna buy a car, if you wanna rent an apartment, if you wanna buy a house, if you want to buy furniture, if you want to do anything with your life in America, if you don't have a credit score or you don't have a credit history, those are two different things. You won't be able to do any of those things. Like, it's not like you can go into the dealership and say, hey, this is my down payment, I wanna purchase the car. You have to have a credit score and if you don't, you won't be able to do any of those things. So, highly important. I have a lot of clients buying, you know, trying to purchase a house right now and they're like 30, 40 years old and they have no, no credit history. Like, dude, like, what were you doing your entire life? You, you're American and you haven't even built a credit history. Like, this is insane to me. So work on that, you know, make your, do your research. The easiest ways to establish some credit history when you knew what I did. So I went to a bank and I got a secured credit card for 500 bucks. So basically what happens, you give a bank 500 bucks and they give you give it to you back as a credit so that you know you can spend that money in a month and then you can pay it back so you start establishing your credit history you know it's a process it's not going to happen over months or two or three it's going to take a couple of years before you can build that but this is what you can do go to a bank get a secured credit card and that's where you start maybe we can make another video about the credit history and the credit score if you're interested comment below maybe i can make a video number five Number five, it's not for, you don't have to do that. People that have to do that is that have problems with the health. So if you are somebody who uh, gets sick pretty often, or maybe you don't have good health period, and you need to go to see a doctor all the time, you may wanna look into getting a health insurance. Well, we all know that in the United States, you have to have a health insurance by law, right? Um, but it's cheaper for some people to just pay a penalty for not having a health insurance and just do it that way. But if you do go to the doctor often, get a health insurance because it's gonna cost you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to go to a doctor, get checked out, um, get your medicine. If you have health insurance, most of the stuff will be paid for. Um, there are a lot of programs, there are a lot of uh, um, like I said, different programs uh, that you can look into to get your health insurance and if you're interested, just message me on Facebook and I'll give you some recommendations. Um, definitely going to save you lots of money and also people are thinking sometimes, well, I'm just going to go to the doctor, say that I don't have money, they still have to treat me. Yeah, that's correct, uh, but then they will bill you regardless whether you have money or not, you have to pay that. And if you don't pay, then they go into um, basically sell your debt like what you owe them to the collection agency and the collection agency is gonna go after you and if you don't pay and negotiate that with the collection agency then it's gonna be dragging your credit score down so if you can have a good enough credit score then you can buy a car a house an apartment so it's kind of like all the system so you don't want to get uh, you know caught up in a lot of medical bills that you have pending and like collection agency is gonna be calling you every single day hey you know you owe us two thousand dollars blah blah so just get a health insurance if you are somebody who gets sick or maybe you have you move here with a kid kids definitely have to have health insurance so and it's not too expensive i mean if you go to the doctor pretty often getting a health insur insurance will cost you way cheaper than going to a doctor for a single visit so message me if you need more information on health insurance we're happy to recommend you um great companies and i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed the video and if you're having an amazing day, have any other questions you want me to talk about um, my life in the United States, comment below and I'll be happy to make a video. See you in the next one.